Hi, so I'm very excited to talk to you today about what we've done for one of our clients, which is creating a customized call agent console, which allows us to do very interesting call center activities from within a browser with a hosted solution such as Salesforce.com. What this console allows you to do is to do rapid outbound dialing, utilizing new technology that's available, utilizing Visual Force and Adobe Flex to um, have a very customized user interface, which allows a user to be able to focus on their job and not have to switch screens as they go through their call flow. So what's exciting about this um, application I'm about to show you is for the client in question, they were able to go from doing approximately 10 dials per hour to being able to do 50. So it's a huge ROI improvement. And the reason that improvement is so large is utilizing these new technologies, we were able to create a very customized user interface around Salesforce.com that exactly fits the screen flow that they required to do their job. And what they're really trying to do is do cross-sell and upsell activities within their contact base to try to, um, to drive more value within, within their installed base. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this application and I think you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So the first thing I want to mention here is I'm logged into Salesforce.com. You'll notice that this doesn't look like a typical Salesforce.com screen if you are a Salesforce user. So I want to point out you'll notice the URL up here on the top is a Salesforce URL, but again, this is not the normal Salesforce look and feel. And what's, what's allowed us to do that is a new technology called Visual Force. So I just want to show you, you know, that this is, a, is actually Salesforce and, and that it is Visual Force. So if I go into here and turn my header on, you'll see the normal Salesforce.com tabs. So once I um, do that, you'll see that I've got my normal Salesforce.com tabs here on the top. And that's something that I can change on the fly, you know, just changing the code here in Visual Force. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that back off for the for the um, illustration of showing you what this application looks like today. So what, when I log on to the system initially, what I'm actually seeing here is a customized view of all the people that I'm assigned to call to do cross-sell and upsell activities. So this is all driven off of dialing campaigns. So you'll notice I've got a couple of drop-downs here on the top. I've got my campaigns and my companies. So if I want to drill into a specific dialing campaign, such as a web upgrade campaign, I can click on that, and then that list is going to be filtered based on that web upgrade campaign. If I want to filter by client, I can certainly do that as well. So if I just want to call into, say, Grand Hotels today, I can filter the list down to just the people that are a member of Grand Hotels. So once I've got my list filtered, I can also do um, sorting. So if I want to sort based on a campaign result, you know, I can do that. I can sort by date. So what, what's nice about all this sorting is it allows them to um, you know, talk to the people they want to in the order that they want to talk to those people. So on this list here, what you can see is I've got my contact's name, the phone number I'm going to dial, as well as what campaign they're associated with, you know, what company they work for. I've got a couple of internal designation flags about who that contact is and what kind of services they're using. And then I also have a campaign result. And the campaign result shows me um, you know, where they are in my dialing campaign. Are they stage one? Are they stage nine? Are they ready to buy? You know, have I confirmed that I've talked to someone? And I also have a column here on the right called last call. And the last call column allows me to see you know, whether I've talked to this person or not. So it kind of gives me some visibility into you know, who else has contacted that person. So let's say I'm ready to go ahead and initiate a call. I just click on somebody on this list, for example, Joe Barr, and I bring up his contact information. And you'll notice I've got a lot, of, a lot of nice information here on one screen. And what I want to point out is there's a timer here on the lower left. And what happens is once that timer hits 10 seconds, it actually initiates an outbound dial to that person. And so I don't have to do anything as a rep. I just basically have 10 seconds to kind of look over my screen, you know, review their implementation details. I've got a nice graph here to show their usage. In the case of this, this company that I'm talking about, they sell web and audio conferencing. So I can see kind of what the trending looks like for their use of my products and go ahead and, and um, you know, start talking to Joe. So let's say I talk to Joe and I want to move him up to um, the fact that we talked about presenting pricing options for him. And go ahead and make a note to that effect. Say we presented pricing and he will, he will call us back next week. So now that I'm ready, I'm done with Joe, I click Save and Next Donor. What happens is it actually hangs up the phone brings up the next person on my list, in this case, John Bond. So let's say we're talking to John. You know, we notice um, he looks like he's been using our services. I can see web and audio conference usage has gone up. I can click on this revenue tab and kind of see what his revenue trending looks like. You know, have some good visibility into um, what he's doing with my products. You know, I can look at his communication preferences. Um, I can look at competition spend if I've got that information available. I can see the implementation details as far as what services of ours he's using. And I can also click on previous comments to see all the other comments from 
either the styling campaign or other um, activities that have happened for this person outside this application all on one screen. So let's say I talk to, to John and he's interested in learning more about a product and wants to see a demo. So I want to put, put a note to that effect. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and schedule a meeting with John to go ahead and set up that demo. So rather than having to flip over to the normal salesforce.com calendar, what I'm going to do is click schedule follow-up. And what that's going to do is bring up this window, which doesn't look like the normal Salesforce calendar window. And kind of I can see based on the blocks when someone's available. So it, it comes up to my schedule by default. But let's say I want to set up a meeting with a, an outside field rep, Johnny Test. And I can see here that you know, he looks pretty available. You know, other than on Tuesday, May 15th, from 1 to 2, he's got something blocked out. So if I want to go ahead and schedule um, more time with him, I can just go ahead and click on a link and say, I want to meet with him on Thursday at 1 o'clock. So I can click on that. And what that's going to do is open up a Salesforce window to go ahead and allow me to schedule um, a call with him. And you'll see that now I'm on, a, on the normal Salesforce window that, that, I, that I am talking to John. I've got my call timer. You know, I can end my call, put it on hold. I've got all the normal call controls that I would with any other soft phone. So I'm going to make a note of the fact that he wants to see a web demo. Okay. And go ahead and save that. And now if I go back over here and refresh that, I'll see that that's popped up on my calendar. And one thing that we built into this as well, which is really nice, is it, it automatically has a time zone conversion. So you can see I'm looking at everything in Eastern time, so it went ahead and moved it back to 12 o'clock. So it allows me as a rep to see things in various time zones and not have to do that time zone math for me because Johnny Test is actually in Eastern Daylight time zone. If I ever want to put this on pause, I can do pause dialing. Or I can go ahead and click Save a Next Owner to go ahead and go on to my next, um, next person. If I ever want to go back out and um, you know, take a look at the overall list, I can just return to the dialing screen and kind of see where I am on the dialing screen. And also, you'll notice that it went ahead and filled in my, my last call date for the people that I've talked to so far. So what I've showed you today is, is, is our custom call agent console. Hopefully, it's given you an illustration of what's possible with Visual Force and custom user interface technologies to really make sure that, that you have a very high, highly optimized experience and that your reps are able to focus on their job and not have to switch screens and really optimize value.